hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is albert and if it's your first time stopping by welcome so this is gonna be my like my fourth video on youtube so today i'll be doing another client transformation and please subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell and please like comment and subscribe please and stay tuned to watch how i transform this gorgeous damsel so next i'm going to be trimming, trimming up the excess hairs i'm using my spoolie to brush up the hairs upward then using a neat razor blade that i haven't used it's a fresh razor blade so guys please use a fresh razor blade when doing this please don't use an, an already used razor blade please brush the hairs upward so as to get an accurate word trimming so i'm kind of like trimming the brows trimming off the excess hairs so as to get the desired shape i want for the brows so next i'm cleansing her face using the micellar water i'm using my cotton board to clean it sorry did i just say cotton board sorry my wipes i'm using the wipes Veroni wipes to clean using my micellar water next i'm drawing the eyebrows i'm outlining using my pencil and i'm using these two pencil from classic cosmetics and davis number 18 eye pencil i'm using these two pen eye pencils you have to have your pencils sharpened like it, it, it has to have a sharp point for it for you to get that accurate straight outline when outlining your brows i didn't want to use a um, brow gel or brow pomade because i wanted to like do a subtle and fast look because she was already in a hurry she's just she was just trying to like make up for her to go for an event so i decided to do a very simple look so i didn't want to waste much on the eyes so right now i'm outlining the other part of the brows and please do this gently guys like very thin line very thin line and please you have to have your your your, your pencil sharpened each time you've used it i'm having my assistant sharpen them for me so as you, as you can see the ones i'm holding they are sharp pointed so that's exactly how it should be so i'm done um, filling up the hairs with my pencils next i'm using my um concealer i'm using this concealer from dama essential hd concealer i'm using that to shade the lighter shade for the brow bone area and dark shade for the what inner and outer corner of the brows i'm using this to uh, highlight the brows please guys you have to do this gently and i'm also using this um this flat brush i got it from a drugstore makeup shop i have been looking for a way to get this mirac um, mirac flat brush but i haven't seen any here in the market honestly and to order them i felt why why should i order just one pen one one brush just just one brush all the way from lagos well i just had to get the brush honestly but this one i'm using is also cool I, i'm 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 okay with that please guys make do it what you feel it works best for you but to me, I'm just saying this because I needed. I I also want to get the the Mirac flat brush because I with the overview of people I've been seeing around with, with the recommendation from people, they, it's it's kind of like it's very nice. I if I have to say it's very nice, honestly, because I've seen people use it and I really want to get it. So right now I'm using the dark color for the inner and outer corner of the brows and lighter shade for the brow bone area so right now please do this gently and please don't don't rush when doing this please take your time take your time brows are sisters not twins just always have that at the back of your mind please do this gently so as for you to get an accurate brow and please guys when outlining when concealing please drag the concealers down for you to be able to blend it fast otherwise if you don't blend it well you have halo brows so next we're done with the brows right now i'm blending it out do you see how the brows is looking so next i'm moisturizing using my moist essence moisturizer and i'm also using this brush from i didn't have any brand i got the brushes from i felt just go to makeup store pick up the brush i felt it's gonna work 
best for me so that's exactly what i do please always make you make do it what you feel it's okay for you okay so next i'm priming her face and i'm priming the t-zone area because i felt she has oily skin i'm around her t-zone area so i'm priming her t-zone area her jaw her forehead and bridges of her nose guys so right now i'm applying my foundation and i'm using the avoc matte base 24 hours foundation i'm using this foundation because it's the shade i think matches her skin color i didn't want to mix i didn't want to start mixing two shades because i was in a hurry actually so i had to film and i also had to keep to time so i blended that in using my beauty blender this beauty blender is from Y glam cosmetics i if i'm to say so and it's very soft see how I blended that shade in i using the way they cut the 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 foundation is looking sorry so i blended it in and please guys your beauty blender has to be wet like it has to be damp sorry are you seeing have you, are you seen the back of my hand like you see some particles of water <laughs> if i have to say <laughs> i i it so it i had that when i pressed the beauty blender so that was why it's, it's at the back of my my hand sorry so right now i'm using my brush to apply it then i'm blending it out using my beauty blender so right now i'm highlighting i'm using these two shades concealer this is my essential hd oil free concealer it's so bomb guys like it's so so freaking bomb i love it so i'm using this um lighter shade for the inner corner and the dark a bit dark shade for the outer for the rest of the concealing actually so i'm kind of like guys i used much yeah, i won't lie i applied much concealers here i used a lot and i wasn't meant to use that honestly in my mind i thought it was little but it ended up being much but guys i blended that shade in just watch i blended it in guys like i had to blend i blended the living daylight out of it because <laughs> do you see how i just packed it for that day and that was the mistake i made so next i would have made that type of mistake again because you are you are not supposed to apply it as a coverage you've already applied your foundation and it has covered everywhere it's just highlighter is just what like highlight the your your face give it a bit of highlights make it pop a bit so that's the essence the work of highlighter you don't mean to pack start packing no 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 it doesn't work like that so i made that mistake and i wouldn't try that in my next video guys so i blended that shade out still using my beauty blender from Y glam cosmetics i'm blending it out like so so guys please do this very well otherwise it will dry and not all concealers you will do this too some concealers do dry quickly and this is not one of them so that's why i had to do it like this next i advise please once you're done highlighting please don't be don't set using a setting powder use your powder like your, your direct powder sheet just try this out try this this this, this technique out guys you come and thank me later just use your your powder sheet to, to preset before you set it tends like soak up that that particular shade of the powder to your highlight and gives it a very look a very sweet soft and you know very a very lovely finished look so please guys just try this technique out and you will thank me later honestly so i'm kind of like using that particular shade you see me dab into i'm using i'm pu i'm using i'm trying i'm kind of like pushing it to the highlighted areas where the areas where i highlighted sorry so next i'm done do you see how it's looking just exactly with her same color with her body no not nothing much going on so right now i'm using that dark dark shade i'm using this powder palette sorry i forgot to mention it's from v beauty v beauty cosmetics so i'm using that powder palette from there i also have many of their products it's so bomb like i love that 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 brand it's so freaking bomb like i i can testify to that guys so it's highly recommended so i'm using that dark shade to contour her nose 
please guys when contouring just do a straight dark line going down from the eyebrows down to the nose but not a harsh line so i'm done contouring the nose i'm using my iris cma no color setting powder i'm using the setting powder towards bake right now so guys remember i told you guys that you should use your powder palettes to preset them before you bake so that's exactly what i'm doing right now like it tends to like give it a very matte finished look like it doesn't cake as if you're using a very good product too like me i'm using rcma no color setting powder and this particular product is so bomb so guys please i highly recommend this for you guys to get so i'm kind of like easing it to bake and also do a reverse contour so next the reason for my baking is to catch fallouts when i'm doing my eyeshadow sorry i did the eyeshadow i had to do the eyeshadow off camera because i was rushing i'm sorry for that but i promise the next upload i'm gonna upload is gonna be a tutorial on how i do my eyeshadow so guys i'm using that shimmery shade to apply it in the inner corner of the eye to make it pop a bit so next i'm using this mascara from it's zara mascara is a nigerian brand i love this mascara like it's, it's volumizing mascara it's pops makes the eye eye eyebrow pop so next i'm applying my falsies i'm kind of like using these lashes from wink lashes on instagram i ordered it so i'm applying them so this is how the lash look it's so bomb guys oh i love this particular look right now i'm dusting off the excess setting powder underneath her eyes i'm using my vbt powder palette to do this guys please do this gently okay so next i'm kind of like smooshing the lower lash line i'm using that dark shade i use for eyeshadow it's from blossom cosmetics i use that dark shade to smoosh on her lower lashes so as you know make it pop out and give it a bit an intensity to get sorry to get the intensity i was looking for so that's why i did that and it's looking good anyway so right now i'm applying my zero mascara on that underneath her eye on that on the lash is sorry so right now i'm moving over to the lip and i'm using um avoid lippy cosmetics and, and one other brown shade like that i can't really tell the name but it's so bomb i've forgotten the name because the name that I rubbed off it's one of my favorite matte lippy so i'm kind of like using this to outline the brown shade sorry to outline the lip then before moving over to the pink shade guys please do this gently calm down when doing so you will not out over over outline the lip but anyways if you even if you've outlined the lip you can still go over to your concealers and you know use it to clean it up so right now i'm using that avo pink lippy the shade 03 i'm using that favorite it's one of my favorite pink lippy actually so i'm using it in the middle of our lip guys please this is a matte lip stain once you apply it please blend it out immediately otherwise it will dry and it will break and you wouldn't want to experience that trust me i've experienced it before that's what i'm saying so please apply then blend out immediately okay so right now i'm kind of like applying my my highlighter and this highlighter is from exclusive cosmetics i'm using this highlighter it's so freaking bomb like just took that 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 that, that looks another level so guys please when applying this highlighter tell your model to smile like it helps to blend it in next i'm using my setting spray this is the last part of the makeup so i'm like kind of like setting locking and you know making everything like like getting rid of the powdery look and everything so guys i bait with the setting spray like i bait with the setting spray so this so this is a finished look guys like she is looking so freaking gorgeous like this is my finished look she was looking beautiful she carried this makeup on from morning to night night and it didn't move so guys please book us for your dream weddings outfits occasions please subscribe to my channel let us grow please help your boy grow please all my social media handles please guys i thank you very much so this is the finished look guys 
she looked so beautiful she was looking like this makeup she carried off 